Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan. Today we are starting lecture number 13 of linear algebra. In today's class, we are going to see Gauss Jordan method to solve the system of linear equations. Okay. In last class, we have seen Gauss elimination method. And today's class, we are going to see the modification of Gauss elimination method. Okay. This is nothing but the modification of Gauss elimination method. And the reason of using Gauss-Jordan method is same. Here also the goal of this method is what? To solve the system of linear equation. Okay. If you recall Gauss elimination method. So what we were doing? We were reducing the matrix into upper triangular matrix. Fine no? So now in this Gauss-Jordan method, what we are going to do? We are going to reduce the matrix into diagonal matrix. Okay. And what is diagonal matrix? You must be knowing very well, right? In diagonal matrix, what we have? Suppose this is the diagonal matrix, right? So this is one example of diagonal matrix. So this is the difference between Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan method. But the question is, if we already have one method, which is Gauss elimination method, and the purpose of this method is also the same, right? It is also going to solve the system of linear equation. So why I have to study Gauss-Jordan method? Okay, so Gauss-Jordan method is just another method to get the same answer. Okay, so in mathematics, we might be having many, many more methods to solve the same equation. And if you will little bit analyze these two methods, so we can say that Gauss elimination method is actually the faster method. If the system of linear equation has thousands of variables, okay, not only just x, y, z, in that case, Gauss elimination method is really preferable. Why? Because Gauss elimination method is actually trying to convert the matrix into upper triangular matrix. But in Gauss Jordan method, we are going to reduce the matrix into the diagonal matrix. So we will be having more operations in the case of Gauss Jordan method. So Gauss elimination method will be little faster in those cases when we have many, many more variables. But Gauss Jordan method also has some advantage over Gauss elimination method where we have to compute the inverse. Then Gauss Jordan method is actually better. Okay. Why? Because Gauss Jordan method actually reduces the matrix into RREA form. Fine. No. Why RREA form? Because we see that here this is the diagonal matrix. You can see that this might be your identity matrix, right? And Gauss elimination method reduces the matrix into REA form. Fine. So this is the theory behind these two methods. Since we understood the concept of Gauss elimination method, so today's class will be much easier because we just have to add few more steps in Gauss Jordan method and we will be done. Okay, fine. So this is the very first question. Apply Gauss Jordan method to solve the system of equations. So here we see that three equations are there, right? And three variables are there, x, y, z. My very first step, I'm going to write down the augmented matrix. Fine, no, exactly in the same fashion like how we have written in the Gauss elimination method. But what difference you are going to find here? Here the coefficient matrix will get reduced into diagonal matrix. Fine, everything else will be same. So we are going to see this question. So this is the very first question. What is the coefficient matrix? 2, 2, 1, 5, 1, 1, 7, minus 1, plus 1, right? No. So, fine. So if you have not seen Gauss elimination method, I will suggest you to first go through that video, the lecture number 12. Then only you will be understanding today's class. Fine. And what will be augmented matrix? In this coefficient matrix only, I am going to add this right hand side constant fine no so this is this is 5209 okay so what is my very first step i'm trying to put one at this very first place which is first row first column for that i'm going to interchange row number one with row number three so that i will be having one in the first row first column position okay so we have done here fine so whatever operation I am performing, I have to perform on the augmented column also. The same thing how we have done in the Gauss elimination method. Okay, so next goal is what? Okay, so what is my next goal? I am going to convert these two numbers which are 2, 2. We are going to convert it into 0. For that we are performing two row operations. 
Fine, no? So, we have got here leading 1 and below leading 1, I have zeros. Fine. So, first column is okay. So, now in Gauss Jordan method, what modification we are going to do here? This is my diagonal, right? No, this is the principal diagonal. In Gauss elimination method, we used to reduce this matrix into upper triangular matrix. That means my goal was to convert this 3 into 0. Fine, no? But in Gauss Jordan method, my goal is to put 0 above diagonal also. Okay. So in upper triangular matrix, we were not worried about the elements which were present above diagonal. Fine, no? But in Gauss Jordan method, we are going to convert the matrix into the diagonal matrix so that I will be having 0 above principal diagonal also, right? I have to do some kind of row transformation so that the elements which are above principal diagonal and the elements which are below principal diagonal all will be zero, okay? To perform these operations, our step will be same. That means this A11 will be used to convert these two elements into zero. So this A22 will be used to convert the element zero below principal diagonal and to convert the element zero above principal diagonal. Similarly, this A33 will be used to convert the elements which are above principal diagonal 0. Fine. I hope you understood what we are saying. Okay. So, that means what next step is? This one is okay, right? No. Why? Because this is my principal diagonal. This is 1 and below principal diagonal, I have 0. Okay. Now, my next step is what? This element I am going to use to convert this 1 as 0 and to convert this 3 as 0. That means what operation I am going to perform? If I will add 1 and minus 1, it will be 0, right? No. And if I will multiply this minus 1 with 3, it will become minus 3. And if we will add 3 in that, it will become 0. So, based on that analysis, we are going to do these row operations. That means R1 will be R2 plus R1, okay? So, R2 plus R1 will give you 0 here. And R3 will be 3 R2 plus R3. 3 R2 plus R3 will give you 0. And whatever elements I am going to get here, right now I am not worried about. Fine. So that means till here things are okay. This is also 0. This is also 0. Now, what is my next step? Next step is what? This A33 I am going to use. And I am going to convert this minus 2 into 0 and this minus 3 into 0. But before that, one more thing I can do, right? Now. So this R3, if you will see this R3, it is what? 0, 0, minus 4, minus 20. If I will divide R3, by minus 4, so I will be getting 0, 0, 1 and then 5. So, it will be much lower value. So, calculation will be much easier. Before performing these operations, I am going to write down this 0, 0, 1, 5. Okay. So, this is 0, 0, 1, 5. Then next, what I am going to do? Now, I have to convert minus 3 into 0 and then minus 2 into 0. So, it is much easier, right? This will be what? 2 into 1 plus 2 will give you 0 and 3 into 1 minus 3 will give you 0. So, based on that analysis, what I am going to write? R1 will be 2 into R3, okay? 2 into R3 plus R1 and R2 will be 3 into R3 plus R2, okay? So, in that case, I will be getting 0, 0 here. That means this is my principal diagonal and then below principal diagonal and above principal diagonal, all elements are 0, Okay, so I am considering only the coefficient matrix. I am not considering this last column. This is the augmented column. This column I am not considering. Okay, fine. So what next you can do? Here actually you can divide this R2 by minus 1. Okay, so if you will do in that fashion, it will become 0, 1, 0 and then 3. So it will be your, so it will be your identity matrix. Okay, one more step you can perform. I am going to write it into the equation form. It will be what? X, Y, Z. I will be writing down here. So your very first row will be what? 1 into X. That means X equals 1. I know. What about your second row? Second row is, if I am writing down this one. So 1 into Y is Y. Y equals 3. Your third row will give you what? 1 into Z. That means Z equals 5. Okay. So, straightforward, you have got X as 1, Y as 3 and Z as 5. Okay. This is the Gauss-Jordan method to solve the system of linear equation. So, if you will see one more question. So, this question has four equations. Fine. No. So, solve the following system of equations by Gauss-Jordan method. 
so four equations are there and four unknowns are there so directly i am writing down here augmented matrix what will be my augmented matrix i am going to write down the coefficient matrix first that means one two three one okay then one minus one be careful with the sign so this is my coefficient matrix i am going to augment the right hand side constant also here so that it will become my augmented matrix now i have to work on this augmented matrix to solve the equation fine no so for that what i am going to do i see that here the very first element which is already one so fine i don't have to do any kind of row transformation that is good so what my next goal is i am going to see that this is my principal diagonal and using this a11 okay using this a11 i am going to convert this element Zero, this element zero, and this element zero. And how I will be doing? So two into one minus two will give you zero. Three into one minus three will give you zero, and one minus one will give you zero. So accordingly, we will be writing down those row operations. Okay, fine. Now, with the help of this a two two, okay, I am going to convert this one as zero, this two as zero, and and then this minus two as zero. And fine. Similarly, with this a three three. i will be converting these elements into zero with a44 i will be converting these elements zero this is my augmented matrix okay now these operations i am performing right so that i am going to get here this is my leading one and then below leading one these all elements are zero okay now what is my next goal this is my principal diagonal and this is by a22 okay and i can see that this is your 0 minus 3 0 minus 3 minus 9 okay so i will just divide this r2 with minus 3 so it will become 0 1 0 1 and then 3 right now 0 1 0 1 3 okay fine so it will make my calculation easier so this is my principal diagonal okay this is already 1 i am going to subtract row 1 and row 2 so that i will get 0 here i am going to add row 2 and row 3 so that i will get 0 here i am going to multiply 3 in this one and then add this three so that i will get zero here okay no so the same thing we are performing r1 r3 r4 okay so the same thing we have done we got zero here here okay but i can see few more simplifications this is my 2 this is 4 so if i will divide this row 3 with 2 i will get here 0 0 0 1 2 if i will divide row 4 with 4 then i will get 0 0 minus 1 1 and then 3 okay and then i am seeing that in the principal diagonal this one is 0 and below 0 i have minus 1 so i am going to interchange row 3 with row 4 okay so in that case what i will be getting i will be getting 1 0 1 0 minus 1 okay so this is your simplified matrix but if you will see this is your principal diagonal you can see that using this a33 okay using this a33 you have to convert this element 0 you have to convert this element 0 but a33 is 0 okay so in that case i should interchange row 3 with row 4 so that i will get minus 1 on my principal diagonal so i will be able to perform these operations okay so we have done these operations and then we are interchanging row 3 with row 4 and the reason of interchange is what if i will be having zero on that diagonal i won't be able to perform these operations right so if i have interchange here so i am getting minus 1 on this principal diagonal okay then i will be adding r1 and r3 i will be getting zero here fine and all other places i have already zero okay now this is my a44 okay with the help of a44 i am going to convert this one as zero this one as zero this one as zero and how i will be doing just subtract this thing right now r1 is what minus r4 plus r1 r2 is minus r4 plus r2 r3 is minus r4 plus r3 fine so i'm done with this operation and then what next i can do i can divide this r3 with minus 1 so that principal diagonal will have 1 and here you will be having minus 1 okay straight forward you are going to get answer this is your x1 right this is for a variable x2 this is for variable x3 this is for variable x4 so 1 into x1 okay 1 into x1 is going to give you 0 okay 1 into x2 1 into x2 is going to give you 1 1 into x3 okay 1 into x3 is going to give you minus 1 and then 1 into x4 is going to give you 2 okay so you have got these answers fine so this way we find the unknowns 
using Gauss Jordan method. Okay, so if you find this class useful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.